Hi, my name is George Garcia. I'm a community manager for Fusion 360 Electronics and Eagle. In this video, we're continuing our series on importing Eagle data into Fusion 360. And what I want to show you in this video is the importance of using the library manager within Fusion 360 to figure out what libraries you're missing within Fusion 360 so you can bring them over and how you can update the references in your design to use the libraries inside of Fusion. So let's get started. The first thing to understand is when you import your design, your Eagle design into Fusion, it preserves all of its library references. Nothing is going to automatically update to use libraries within Fusion 360. The, this is the safest approach possible. It makes sure that your design is always going to work. So with that in mind, we need to figure out what libraries is my design referencing? That way, when we upload our libraries into Fusion 360, we can update them. We can update the design to use the Fusion Team libraries instead of preserving the old links. So there's two ways to do this. The library manager is a key way. So let's go into library, click on library manager. And you can notice that right now I have it filtered to in current design. Now I know for a fact that this design has other libraries than just the three that are mentioned here. And actually, Fusion does too. If we look over here, I'm going to exit the library manager. If you notice, if we go to place components and we set it to in this design, it's actually aware of these other libraries that aren't currently shown. So you, the library manager is the main tool because that's the one that's going to allow you to fix and correct things. If you expect certain libraries to show up in the library manager and they don't, check here and place components in this design and you'll get the full list. So what I'm going to do is going to go over here and I'm going to put this one into use and that'll at least activate it in the duh, in the place components panel. And what we're going to do is we could go and, and add in the library.io libraries. But what I want to highlight here is the two different types of libraries that are currently being referenced in this Eagle design. Any design that you're importing from Eagle can have up to two different classes of libraries. The first icon, which is the one that the DC Load AU and RCL libraries have, are the managed libraries. So whenever you see that book icon, those book icons, that indicates that those are managed libraries. Those are libraries from library.io. And you can filter them down just by clicking here. Now, the other one, the Distortion Explorer library, that is a local library. That is the other type of library you could have in Eagle. Within Fusion, like I mentioned, all these references are preserved, but Fusion can't edit directly a library.io library. And it also can't edit a local library. So, what you need to do is you need to bring in these libraries into Fusion Team and then update the design to use them. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can upload your local libraries and then how you can turn your library.io libraries into Fusion Team libraries. Finally, I'll show you how you can update the design to use them and how you can verify that everything is up to date. So thank you for watching. See you next time.